guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to make the Hiss Tank from G.I. Joe Redemption. So I've got a smaller one here and I've also got a, a pretty big one here. Um, so the smaller one I'm going to make first, I'll just show you guys both of these tanks. So you can choose which one you want to make or if you want to make both. So yeah, the smaller one doesn't have much room inside, it's only got one window at the front. Um, and then I'll go on to the big one here which is it's one of my, my favourite tanks now, it was requested but I didn't even know it existed but after I kind of built it it's actually really really cool. So this is the, the big one, so it's actually got an area for troops and supplies here. Uh, it's then got a cockpit as well which has got a load of instruments and it's got two seats in there as well so it's quite a lot bigger. So let's get on to building the smaller one first and I'll go on to the bigger one. And that's what you're going to need for this. Actually I've just missed out one thing I need. There you go, so you're going to need never break slabs, stairs, and never brick. You need uh, buttons. I'm going to try and make a white one, so slab, stairs, and a full block in whatever colour you want to make. Um, you're going to need iron blocks for the kind of Gatling guns which are on the side, uh, glass for the cockpit itself, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to place down five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. And on top of this, just going to go, uh, you're going to go two, you're going to cover up kind of like two front ones and cover forwards by one. And that's all you need for the kind of base of it. Um, so I come over by, leave a three block gap. I do the same one, two, three, four, five. The first two have got blocks on them and that comes forwards by one. So I'm just going to put upside down stairs on both of these parts. And then on the back as well. So you can put your buttons in the side now if you want. So you should have five buttons on the bottom, and then three kind of on this next layer. Now what you're going to do is just get out your slabs, and it's going to be two without slabs, and then two here. Then you're going to have two without slabs, then two here. So again, two without slabs, then two in this part. Two without slabs, and then two in this part. So this just kind of creates a smooth curve going up. I'm going to double check where the floor comes in. Okay, okay. So, this time it's going to come all the way from the back, instead of being one block short like most of my other builds. And then one short, uh, one block short of this kind of part here. So it'll just be your basic floor for this build. Okay, so then you're going to need upside down stairs, and forwards by one block. Just there. And then you're going to have slabs coming across the front there. Your glass block now is going to come in just on this part here. And let's build the back up, I think. So all you're going to do is just put down oh, three blocks for now. So leave these two, yeah, four blocks across the back, sorry. And you can leave these two because they're covered up by these bits, so you can put in. Uh, Kind of your torches and things like that, you can fit those in there. Okay, and then on the back, what you're going to do is just come across the back with stairs, just to finish up that back part there. I'm just going to check this part because it does get, starts to get a bit complicated. Right. So then from uh, you're going to put slabs on these two sides uh, around the glass, and then coming off this part here, you're going to put three blocks. Just like that. So those were the two gaps I was talking about where you can put the torches and things like that to light it quite well. Now uh, you're then going to have two slabs coming across the top. So this just makes it so you can walk inside. Uh, you can actually grab your trapdoor now and just put it on the back of this one so you can open up and get inside there. Double checking this part here. Yep, so there's a. I'm putting two full blocks here. So you can put your ladders in the back here. Not one there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so then you've got two upside down stairs here. And then you're going to put normal stairs there. So you're kind of creating this sideways pattern. And then upside down again. Upside down. And then a full block on top of these two. Uh, 
and then three slabs across the front here. And we can come in with four blocks on these parts. Uh, not those parts, sorry. Just try to figure out this. Okay, so there's three slabs across the back. Uh, not on those parts, sorry. Yep, there. So three slabs there. And then we've got stairs going around. Okay, so on top of this part, all you're going to do is just wrap stairs around. Just like that. And then you can put a full block in there. So then for your gun itself, uh, just grab the stone slabs. So off this block here, you just come forward five. One, two, three, four, five. You can go longer if you want to. I just put, kind of made it so it was just in line with the front. And on the two side blocks here, you guys have the two blocks of iron. These are kind of Gatling guns. I just put a button on the front. And then let's just do the trim with uh, another brick fences. Okay, so there's the fence that just connects this part in on each side. And then on the back, I just put two going up. And this part here, you can fill in solid. So that's your antenna. It's that part there. Uh, what you can do also with this is you can actually put two track doors on the Mac, and that's it. So that's the uh, that's the small his tank, and we'll get onto the big one next. Hey guys, and now we're going to go and get onto the large his tank. So you're going to need pretty much exactly the same blocks. So you're just going to place down nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one's going to come out on top. So two, three, four, five. Uh, I believe you're going to come up by five this time. Two, three, five. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it'll be a five gap. This one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it comes out by one. These are two, three, four, five. So you can put your buttons on these now if you want. So this one is quite a lot larger than the smaller one, just because I kind of thought it was a really cool tank and uh, really wanted to go inside and have a real uh, couple of compartments in it. Okay, so upside down, never break the uh, steps on the front part, on both of those, just create a step pattern. And then just one on the back again, just like the smaller one. Uh, so you're just going to need Never break slabs as well, I forgot to grab those. So this time instead of giving two uh, gap, you're gonna go three. So one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, one, two, three. Really easy. It's the same on the other side, so uh, three that haven't got slabs on them, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go, so that's the treads for it. I'm just gonna double check the floor itself. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to come across the back of slabs just to fill in your floor. And this is going to go all the way one short, so you're not going to go over this step here. Uh, but the back does go all the way. Just fill this in. Just like that. So you've already got a pretty big floor space here. I'm just going to double check on this part. Here you go. So you're just going to come in with upside down stairs on the inside of this part. And then again, you're going to come across the front with uh, your slabs. Just like that. Okay. So then get your glass. And uh, right in the middle, you're just going to put it behind this slab. You're going to come up to the side by two. Same on the other side. And then just cover up the top by two. Just change it to day. There you go. So that's your kind of shape for the glass part. Okay. So then around these two sides here, you're going to put slabs. And here you're going to just put two stairs like this. I'm just going to count these stairs here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So counting this one, you've got to put another three going sideways. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So it just comes to the end of this part. Uh, you can fill in 
these side parts uh, with blocks if you want to. Uh, I think I left some of them open for torches and things like that. Can I get your full block? You just want to come up by two, like side. Then this comes all the way back. Uh, I'm just going to double check again. There we go, okay, yep, so this just comes all the way around the back, like this. You're going to add three blocks um, on the back side of this, and put two upside down stairs on each side, so you can get rid of these three. Okay, I'm just going to double check again, it's quite a complex build this one. One, two, three, four, five, just four blocks across the back. That with these are slabs on here. Yep. So uh, behind this, behind the block, this block here, you're gonna just put two sets of stairs on each side, and four blocks in between. So this is where your kind of gun's gonna start. So what we can do is we can actually just put two stairs on there so we know where those parts are. And we'll just finish up the back. So you're just gonna put three slabs across the back part here. And they're gonna go in number three here. Another three here. I put in my trapdoor just on the back part here. So I'm just going to build one of those. So I'll build around here. So I put my trapdoor in here. Just there. I'll just build up this part. I just have to have another look. Okay. So these are just going to wrap around this, this side here. I'm just going to have this one curving in. So again, these are just going to wrap around just one block short of where the glass is itself. Okay, then you're going to just put in slabs across this top part here. And I'll just double check where, what's going on at the back here. Okay, so these slabs look like they just come across. across this part, uh, leaving these two here, just like that. So that's the main body of the tank. Uh, so then what you're going to do is just going to put upside down stairs on the back of those stairs that you made for the actual bit going up, then normal stairs, then upside down stairs. I'm just going to count how many, one, two, three, and four. So we've got one, two, I'm going to go up again, so that's three stairs. Uh, another one on top there, so you've got one, two, three, and four stairs going up, uh, with stairs on the back of each of those. So I'm going to put a full block on the back of the top part of the stairs. I'm just going to double check again. Two, three. And you've got one to five floors, okay. Okay, so you're just going to put in three blocks across here. And number three. And on here you're going to put three blocks going across the back. Uh, those ones are upside down as well. And then these ones are going to be right, right way up and they're going to just come out by one. Your turret is going to sit just on top of that stair there. Uh, so that you can grab your stone slab if you use that for the gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it comes in line again, just the same as the smaller one. And then we're just going to build up this section here. So uh, behind this block, it's going to be one. It's going to basically create a square, actually. Three by three square behind this turret block just there. And then all you're going to do is... Right, I'm just going to double check this guy, sorry. So this is an extra set of stairs, okay. So yeah, so you build that square up, and then on the back of this you put an extra set of stairs. So you've got two sets of stairs on the back going up. And then all you're going to do is just put some slabs on it just to kind of trim it out a little bit. So it's just the last 3x3 three three square. So you've got 3x3 three three slabs, and then one more at the front just to trim that part out. Then we'll get onto this kind of side gun. Uh, for this I actually used those cobblestone wall on this one. Uh, so I'll use the same just to show you if you want to make it out of this kind of uh, colour scheme. So just on this block here you're going to put in your wool and then that will join onto here. 
just go back by two. So those are three long each. Uh, and then just the same as the other one, I put some buttons on in front of this part. Uh, I'm actually going to do the same as I did on the smaller one as well and put trapdoors on the back, just makes it look a little bit nicer. And I'm pretty sure that's it now, actually. That's not as bad. Oh, I have forgotten some bits. It's not quite that. It's a good thing I checked. So in the middle of these uh, iron blocks, you just put in your fence again. It's just an extra connector in, a uh, connector in to it. And then what I did for the antenna is I put it on the side of this block and went up two. So this fence here is three long in total. And that's it. Pretty cool tank. Um, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Uh, actually, before I do that, I'll go inside and show you kind of how I've laid out the inside. So I've just put in a wall for the cockpit part, which is quite cool. And I left a couple of these little gaps open for the torches. Um, just filled this in jukebox and jukeboxes and um, crafting table, a couple of levers, a couple of chairs, and then just a little storage area. Really, really simple. Yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.